Welcome back to Satisfactory guys. In today's episode, unfortunately, we're going to do nuclear power. Yes, I'm not a fan of it. I find it a pretty complicated recipe and getting rid of the waste that used to be a massive pain. But hopefully, if we do nuclear reprocessing, we'll get rid of it all. So let's get started. So looking at the map, we haven't really done much in the northern desert area, so I think We'll make this the area for nuclear power, maybe even for reprocessing as well, if there's enough resources. There should be though, since we're not really tapping into anything. So the juggernaut that is nuclear power, where do we get started? Well, first factory we're going to do, we're going to do the EI factory, then probably the control rod factory, and we're going to need sulfuric acid. After that, we actually might get to the factory that makes the control rods. See, the recipe is stupidly long, then we've got to sort out the uranium mine, because we're going to get everything out. There's a node in the jungle inside a mountain. It's stupidly complicated. We should get there. Got to buy a big spider. <laughs> yeah, it gets worse, doesn't it? And then we've got to find some way for the nuclear power station as well. I want to keep it away from everything else because obviously it's radioactive. Right, let's make a start on our first factory. We need to make an EI limiter factory. We're going to need to produce around 25 units per minute for the sort of numbers I'm looking for to make the fuel rods. So luckily there's a criteria mine just here and there's a copper one in the desert not too far away. The copper node itself, it's not too far away. It's only a few hundred meters. The difficult part, we just got to get it up the side of a mountain. Every time I come in this desert, I just think of the film June. I think, don't make too much noise so the worms don't come. <laughs> but there's plenty of dogs here instead. There was one coming over the mountain there. We may have, yes, there he is. Whoa, that was sneaky. I may have to shoot you. And he's D-E-D. -E Let's put the miner down. The factory itself, I think what I'll do is I'll go backwards. I'll build the train station first, then we'll figure out where the factory will actually fit into this. I really fancy building this factory on the side of a mountain. What I had the idea was, we'll have a little mountain railway all along the side of like the mountainside. Yeah, that might just work. We may get it just above here. That would look quite cool, I think. Very Bond villain-esque. Let's put down oodles of foundations and we may actually be able to build up here. We shouldn't need that wider factory, so hopefully this little narrow gap if not, if it'll not fit, we could go slightly higher up, then overhang the actual train station. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Ooh, something a bit different. All our factories, they're quite similar. I want to build something slightly different. Next, we need some power. Eh, where's the nearest line? Probably that railway line. Yeah, let's, we'll go over there. Jump onto one of the pylons and we'll tap into one of the lines. We've gone from June to playing cliffhanger now. <laughs> Ooh, it's a bit of a drop to there. Um, how are we going to do this? Yeah, let's jump down there. Then hopefully we're near enough. Are we? Yes, we are. We can fly. Cool. That saves that. Should we make some sort of walkway or a ramp up to there? I think we're going to come back this way a few times. Eventually, we're going to have to put a train line in. Figure out where it's going to come from and where it's going to go. That's the power lines put in. Well, it's a start anyway. <laughs> At least we can power stuff up and we can fly around, which is the main thing. Just got to guess the height on the old lifts. Oh, where do we guess from and where do we guess to? Let's stick a few poles down first, then we'll judge it from there, I think. Looking at the map, I said we hadn't built it in the northern desert. Yeah, we've we've got the turbo engines factory and just across the road. It feels like the road, doesn't it, with the train line here? That's the, um, the CD factory, as I call it. I know it's crystal oscillators, but to me it looks like an old CD player or DVD player. I'm sure my age now. Just need to put a window in. We're going to need two slots on this one because we're just having the copper and the criterion coming through. The plan, I think it's coming together. In my mind, anyway. Hopefully on paper it'll get there as well. So 
we'll do a little real wheel we'll follow this mountain along and i think i did have a quick look there should be enough room for another big factory and there are some nodes pretty close so the belts they're gonna have to be pretty high up the lifts may take two or three lifts to get all the stuff up and there is sulfur on the other side as well this seems to be the perfect area i think i picked well here i put down five smelters for now i'm gonna have separate production on each floor so if i need to increase fuel rod production later on i can easily upgrade all the factories as well the ai factory as we've seen before is really simple i've got how many have i got now two of those i've built yeah this is number three so all it is it's just cotarium copper put them together and you get the ei's dead simple The smelters are now doing their thing, so we're on level 2, we'll put down the constructors and we'll make all the quick wire. Ultimately I'm going to need about, where is it at here, 500 units per minute of quick wire. That's quite a bit isn't it? I'm having a thunk here and I'm thinking one train actually might be enough to deliver all the parts to the fuel rod factory. Because we're going to need one for the EIs, so this gets delivered to the rod factory. Then at the rod factory, that comes back down with rods, obviously. And then at the back, we may need two tanks of sulfuric. Then I'll deliver that to the nuclear fuel rod facility. Then just do a loop, constantly like that. Yeah, that should work, I think. The factory's going up really quick today. I think it's the old fly and I'm getting really good at it. As long as I put enough power lines around. Yeah, I've got the gist of this now. The Caterium is a flowing and we're making quick wire, a little bit anyway. Let's put the roof on for number three, then I can do the out belts for the quick wire. So we're going to need how many more? We're going to need one more for the smelters for the copper, one for the copper sheets, then we're going to need another floor for the AIs themselves. So for all the math geniuses out there, I think that's five if my adding ability is correct today. It may not be because I haven't had much sleep. Here's the old copper mine done, I've got the belts all the way back to the factory now, so let's weave the lifts in and out of the floors, and then we'll get the, what are we doing there, copper smelters. I've been thinking about the old uranium mine, I'm not sure what to do with it. Do I run a train line all the way from inside the, the mountain? I probably could do it, it would have to run on the floor though, or just run, belt it outside of the mountain and run a station from there. And where do I set up the actual uranium fuel factory as well? Do I put it around this area or somewhere else? I really want to put it in a semi-remote location. Keep it away from other stuff if I can. Because we will glow in the dark if we get too close to it. We're now doing the fourth floor for the old copper sheets. I've had a little look around on the map. I think I've found some way for the power station now. On the west hand side, um, I don't know if you guys can remember, on the main line, after you go past the commuter factory, you go straight on, straight on, straight on, and eventually you kind of turn right. Instead of turning right, I could, I went straight over the top. Behind the mountains and that, there's like a nice stretch of water. There's not a lot else there. So I was thinking, in the water, because we're going to need lots of water for the nuclear power anyway, we'll stick the whole power station out the back of there. That's what I'm thinking right now. And just like that, 4-5, here we are. I told you I was motoring today. Literally, this thing up has gone up so quick because I know exactly what I'm doing, how many machines I need, and I'm so used to building in this sort of way. I'm just going to leave all the factories open today, just in case I need to upgrade any of them at any time. Also, I'm thinking the nuclear rod factory. 
that thing probably will have to be totally finished as when it becomes radioactive you can't use the jetpack and the iodine filters at the same time so if i want to spray it or putting all the windows on the outside normally i fly around doing that i couldn't do that The AI factory, yeah, it's just about done now. We've got to sort out the rail line now. But next, what I want to do is I want to start looking where we're going to find the coal and the sulfur. And what else do we need? Do we need copper as well, I think? Or is it iron? One of the two. We'll find them next. So roughly we know where the train line is actually going to go from here. Let's head out into the deep, dark northern desert, avoiding the sandworms. Yeah, we really need sandworms in this game. <laughs> Just to appease the dune in me. Right, somewhere over here I did see some coal. I did a quick scan. And there's some sulfur as well. Just needed to be in the perfect spot. And we need the mountainside to have enough land so we can build a factory as well. Let's have a look, see where we're at here. Six hundred, that's not too bad. There's an awful lot of noise around here. I'm pretty sure there's an army of spiders hiding in that undergrowth somewhere. Oh, yep, yeah, I can definitely hear them. Ah run, run, run. Okay, I found the coal nodes. I didn't realise there was two. It's an impure though. Depends on which we can overclock it. Um, oh, do you think we can build a factory up there, maybe? It's a possibility. We're going to need to get electricity all the way over here, though. Why is there so many spiders in this damn jungle? You don't need to see spiders on at night time. Get to bed. Right, hopefully, is that the last of them dead now? Yeah, I can hear things moving still. Or is that the water? Oh, I'm not liking it here at all. We're pretty close to the yellow old um, iron node. And there's a limestone node as well for the concrete. It is a pretty decent place around here then. For the rod factory. I put the minor three down on the um, iron node. And I've got the bell all the way back to roughly behind us. So now let's put some ramps up. We'll try and get up to this mountainside and figure out if we've got enough room to put a factory up here. It would be great if we could. It's quite a nice view up from here, and there's the AI factory over there. That looks roughly the same height, doesn't it? Yeah, I think we can build it here. If not, we can definitely build it on the right-hand side of this canyon, mountainside, rock face. I don't know what you want to call it. Hopefully we can build it here, we'll have enough room. Should have enough foundations down now, so we'll put a train station down, and then we'll build the factory on top of that. Let's start putting down some power poles for the old factory here, and hopefully we can get back to the AI factory. There does look a bit enough of a ridge to walk along here. If not, we'll put down some temporary walkways as well. Fingers crossed we can get back there in one piece. Ooh, double waterfall. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Oh, can we get past the second one, though? Um, oh, dog creature there. We'll shoot him. We're going to have to put some sort of rampy walkway down, aren't we? Unbelievably, we've actually made this one piece. I've really surprised myself on this one. So let's wire this up to the factory from somewhere. And then we'll get back to what will be the rod factory. And start building the damn thing. Since we've now got power here, this thing should go pretty easy. Eh, what do we need first? Let's do the forges and we'll start making the steel ingots, I guess. Eventually, we're going to make statos here. So first off, we're going to make pipes. So we're going to need, what is it, about 410 steel ingots a minute? Yeah, we're going to need a few of these forges. For now, I'll just put down three forges. I think we're going to have to run about ten, but once all the belts are put in, the wire is already up here, it'll be easier to add more. 
Now let's figure out how to get the belts up here. And fly, fly, fly. Oh, crap. What happened there? Oh, I had me legs on instead of the flying frame. Oh, yeah, guys. I die as well. <laughs> right, let's respawn and get back there. Right, yo, let's try this again. Let's put all the belts facing the right way. Then let's get the lifts down and see if we can get all the ore up to the factory. This is going to be slightly awkward. We're going past a lot of rocks on this side. Should be okay. I've had a look. You can visually see the gap, but getting the belt through, it's another matter, isn't it? Well, that's a good start. That one's just about at the right height. I was really struggling to get the coal one to fit, so what I've had to do, I've had to turn the mine around and bring the belt from the other side. Luckily, these belts are okay. I've got a third belt for limestone. I might do the concrete at this factory. I'm still undecided on that. I may just build the concrete at the um, nuclear field factory. It's up in the air. Well, I'll have the option anyway if I want to do it. Otherwise, the iron ore node, that should be fine going upstairs. Let's have a look if we can wire it up again to the actual factory itself. That's all three lifts from the factory to this bit of the rock face. Now, do I do a line just from them windows to these lifts? Or do I do some more lifts, then do a line? Um, will it fit? What do you guys think? Let's have a look. Yeah, let's let's put them right to the edge of the rock. Then it actually might just say fit. Fingers crossed. We'll delete these three, then let's have a look. Oh, wow, it fits. I didn't think that would actually work. <laughs> it's nice when that happens. Just goes to show you this game sometimes can really kick you in the teeth. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nicer word than I was thinking of using there. It's amazing how much time something as stupid as this could take. It's probably taken us anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Because I died, that probably added 10 minutes on it. So it probably is closer to an hour. But never mind. All the nodes are now hopefully going up to the factory floor. And we can actually start making the control rods. Got there in the end. And we're motoring along nicely now. The pipe factory, that's done. Just delete a few of these and we'll get back to the third floor. I've decided against doing the concrete factory at this uh, facility. I've looked into the numbers and I think it's going to be a bit of a push. Plus, I'd have to run an extra train. Because really, I want to put two coaches of um, sulfuric acid on the back. So that would be all four carriages used. And I don't want to get into a fifth big game carriage train. So, I'll get the copper up here. And we'll start making the wire for the statos. Luckily, there's a copper node right here as well. I don't know if this is planned or just blind look. It's one or the other anyway. <laughs> Yeah, let's connect this up and we'll get the copper upstairs and get the wire made. Unusually for a smelter factory, it's on level 3. Normally these are level 1, maybe level 2. But we've got the forges level 1, pipes are level 2. So it's copper level 3. How exotic. We're going to need 400 units of copper ingot from this eventually. I've got absolutely everything written down to the last detail. So I can build this nuclear facility, all the little factories it needs, and I know exactly what I got, what I need. So hopefully this thing will run pretty smoothly. And we're now on level 5. This is making the statos. We're going to need 37.5 a minute. So, oh, how many is that? Somebody quickly work it out. It's quite a few assemblers anyway. Level 4 below, that was the wire factory. I've done that. I just did that off camera. You've seen us make a wire factory like a million times now. Next job is we can do the assemblers for the electromagnetic controllers on level 6. But before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the EI factory. We'll put the line in and then we'll try and run a train between the two factories. Just so it's delivering the EI. Then I'll get that routed up to level 6. Just so we can get everything sorted and finalised. I want it all running.
So I've added a new structure real wheel line from the AI factory to the control rod factory. We'll have to add a section to the main line as well and then I'm either have to go with track all the way back down again or we'll keep the track on going maybe to the left hand side and we'll route it all the way back to the main line. I don't know which solution to go for yet. Right, what are we going to do next? Um, we need to put a lift from the top of the factory down to the station so we can get the EIs up to the top, make the control rods, then send another lift all the way back down again to another station. Also, I've got to start looking around for some sulfur and some water because we need a sulfuric acid factory somewhere in this sort of region and it'll also pipe that to here as well. Yeah, still a bit to do today. Hopefully we can get it all done. Just need to put this lift in now from the control rods all the way to the freight station. Come on, line up. Is that lined up? No, it's not. Oh, it is. They're going in. Yes. Fantastic. Right, we're now waiting control rods. And the EIs, that's all wired up. Next job, let's go and find some sulfur and some water. Hopefully it's not too far away. Ah, let's do a quick scan for sulfur. Let's see how far away it is from the factory now. Oh, that looks close, doesn't it? What's that? 174. That should be just down there somewhere. Oh, I can even see it. That's fantastic. Oh, there's a slug there as well. I have to try and remember about that. Right, let's get in the buggy. We'll get over there and plop a mine down. For some strange reason, this little oasis in the desert, it's full of spiders. I wish we could just run the damn things over. Uh, I'm trying my best. <laughs> no, I know it doesn't work. Right, where can we get to a bit of high ground here so I can shoot these things? Hmm, let's have a look around. There's a third one. Oh, come on, this is not fair. Time for some lead. Kill them all. Nope, not killing any. Right, jump back in the buggy. Well, after feeling miserable for quite a while, I did manage to find a bit of high ground. Shut all the spiders and luckily we can put down this miner now. So, before we start putting down the factory, we're going to need some water. I don't think any of these rivers are deep enough. The sea's quite far away. So, I'm wondering if there's a water node around here somewhere. Let's have a look. Unbelievably, there's one pretty close. It's about 300 meters away. So, I can pipe this back to the sulfur. We'll mix that together, make sulfuric acid. Wow, why are things going so well today? Yeah, the gods are going to turn on me at some point. There's a few dogs around here. We'll probably have to kill them guys. Just so we can start messing about with the pipes. And we'll put down the old pressurizer. How many can we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not bad. That's quite a bit of water. Should be more than enough. Pure. Cool. And why can't we put down the extractors? Um. Oh, it needs power, doesn't it? Right. Let's run some power lines. From here all the way back to what one of the mines below the rod factory it's somewhere back there in the jungle where all the spiders are i've joined up a light at the sulfur mine as well so as soon as we get these connected both the water and the sulfur will get powered on yeah that's still going to stretch that far is it put one there then hopefully one more and that'll connect to the electricity mains there we go it's all turned on Right, let's get back to the water and we'll start piping that over here. Oh my god, how many more spiders are down here? Since it's electric going through the jungles now, it's a little bit easier to kill the spiders. I can just hover about. And all the extractors, they are all powering on now so we can get some water. Let's get the pipes. Mm, somewhere near where the sulfur mine is. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put the sulfuric acid factory in. And I'll add this last section of pipe. Unfortunately, I've just realised I'm out of copper sheets. So I'll have to go back to the base and pick some more up. Just around this corner here, on the left-hand side, there's a nice open space. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the base, as I've done with the other two, on the side of the mountain. I'll raise it up as well. Then hopefully that'll be enough room just here. On the way back, I think I'll build a section of track from the main line to the EI factory, because I haven't done that yet. Then, when I want to go back and forth from the base, I can just go straight by train instead of having to run across the desert a little bit. Oh, 
back again and um, it's a good 15 minute round trip now it's about five minutes there five minutes back you mess about on base fill your pockets with stuff and 15 minutes just disappeared just like that anyway right i think i can get a track around this little gap in the mountainside here what do you think we're going to need one line i'm thinking and oof, can we get the height on that because remember i only like a very slight increase on the track i could cave it round i guess yeah i think this is going to work Maybe a dog creature around here. Let's, let's check. Very slowly. <laughs> yes. Ooh, it's a multi fire spewing one. Or is it a green one? Nope, it's a green one. Yeah, we're going to kill this guy. Yeah, getting the curve around this little mountainside is proving quite tricky, actually. I think we're going to be all right for the the gradient of the track if we cave it around here go up a little bit more then we'll cover onto the right hand side i think we'll be pretty much spot on that does look pretty close doesn't it just need to add this last section of track if we can get in a line and then join that up man there we go Fantastic! Right, the AI factory and the controller factory in there now on the main line. I'll delete some of this, then I'll get back to the sulfuric acid factory. I'm not going to have the factory floor too high. Oh, there is grass coming through the concrete foundations. It's pet heat. I don't want to put it any higher than this though, because we're going to stick a lot of refineries down here. I think eight. I've got it written down somewhere. Oh, I'm happy with this height. You know what? I'm just going to pretend that's not there. And let's go and join the rest of the pipe work up and we'll figure out which side we're going to actually feed this in from. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go under then come back up because then I can build the factory like straight ahead here as much as I want. I've jumped a little bit ahead. It's a pretty simple factory, this. It's just a refinery. Sulfur and water, and it poops out sulfuric acid. The difficult part, we've got to virtually pipe this up the side of a mountain and over towards the control rod factory, and then we've got to send that somewhere else. I still haven't got the actual uranium rod factory exactly where I wanted. I'm still looking about for the ideal location. I want to get it away from everything, but not too remote, as it's going to be impossible to get it onto the real network. Slowly the pipe work for the sulfuric acid factory, it's getting closer and closer to the control rod factory. I need to power this whole thing up, just so I can fly about a bit. How many pumps is this thing going to need? I have no idea. Is that going to reach? It's not. Right, let's put a, more poles there and hopefully we can join this up. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed, this thing's going to work. I've just added the last of the pumps, checked all the pipe pressure, and I can see, actually, the pipes. They're glowing yellow. So, the free terminal, this should be filling up nicely with sulfuric acid. Oh, there we go. We're at 1,400 litres already. And the other ones, yeah, they're all good as well. So, now, we need to figure out where this line's going to go. Do I double back on myself, like, right-hand side, go back the way I came on that single line? Or... Do we go around the side of the mountain and then straight across the sea and join back up the main line that way? That's what I'm thinking. Yes, let's go big. <laughs> it's going to take an effort though. I will probably leave that for the next episode. I'll just look at the time and it's just getting away from us. As per usual. Um, we've done a lot today. We've done the AI factory, done the rod factory and we've done the sulfuric acid factory. So in the next episode, we've got to complete this loop all the way back to the main line. We've got to figure out where the uranium mine is going to come from. How's that going to be wired up? And then we've got to do the uranium rod factory and the nuclear power station. Um, that could take a lot of effort. <laughs> right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time for some more Satisfactory. Bye for now, guys.